Hi everyone, Mrs. A here. Today we are solving equations using algebra tiles. So we're just gonna do simple equations for today. And we're going to look at this with algebra tiles because it helps uh, visualize the algebra uh, for a lot of us so that it doesn't look uh, too abstract. So we're gonna start off again by uh, talking about what our algebra tiles represent. So this tile will be positive one. This tile, we don't know the length of it, we'll call that x since it's an unknown. And then this one, we're not using it today, but this one we usually call x squared because it's x times x. So that's our x squared. If we want these to be negative, we flip them over to the red side and then they all become negative. So those are the tiles we're gonna use. Let's look at our first question. We have an equation. An equation means that we have an equal sign with an expression on either side. That equal sign there needs to remain always in the middle of the equation, it doesn't move. And these terms on either side, we can move them from one side to the other by keeping both sides balanced. So let's see what I mean by that. Let's first get out the tiles that we have. On the left side of the equation, I have two positive x's. And I have three negative ones like this. So this is on my left side of the equation. And on the right side of the equation, I have positive seven ones. There we are. Okay, like this. So the goal to solve an equation is always to get the value of the variable. We want to know what x is to make this equation true. In order to do that, we want to always get the x by itself. That's, that means to isolate the variable. We want to get the x by itself on one side of the equation. In order to do that, we need to move things around. So right now, we have this negative 3 on this side of the equation, which is preventing the, the x's here to be by themselves. We want them to be alone on one side of the equal sign. So we want to move these over. We can't just move them over because then our uh, equation is not balanced. But what I can do is add things to both sides, the equal amount to both, both sides, in order to get rid of those minus three. So remember we talked about zero pairs. A zero pair is when we have a negative tile and a positive tile of the same size. So we have a negative one and a positive one. They together make zero. So we wanna use zero pairs here. If I wanna get rid of negative three, I add positive three like this because those will all become zero. They're all zero pairs here. But if I add three to this side, the equation needs to remain balanced. I need to also add three to the other side. So I need to do this on this side too. I can't just add three on one side and not the other side, then my equation is no longer balanced. So I need to add it to both sides. This is great. Negative three and positive three, those are all zero pairs. They disappear. And now I'm left with two X equals, what do I have all together here? Now we have 10, right? Two X equals 10. So that's good, but I still don't have what X equals. So you see how I have two X's? Let's break them up into two groups. Now I have a group with one X in it and I have another group with one X in it. But again, we wanna keep things equal. So if I divide this into two groups, I wanna divide this side also into two groups. How can I do that? Well, there were 10, so I can do five and five. And now you see that one X equals five, one X equals five. So here is our solution, X equals positive five. Let's write that in. So this is how we manipulate the algebra tiles to get the x alone on one side with its value on the other side of the equal sign. It's kind of like playing around with a puzzle. Let's do the next one. So here we have now positive 1 equals negative x plus 6. So first we'll start by getting our equal sign in the middle here and then we'll get out our algebra tiles that represent this equation. So we have one equals negative x, so that's a negative x there, 
and plus six. Make them positive, and we have positive six there. Okay, so we need to get, again, the x to be isolated on one side of the equal sign all by itself. So we want just x by itself. Right now, here's the x. It's not by itself. These six x, the six ones, sorry, are in the way. So we want to get rid of the six ones. We can only get rid of them by adding the opposite so that we create zero pairs. So I'm going to add on this side a negative six here. So if I have positive six and negative six, these will all disappear because they're all zero. But I can't just add negative 6 on this side. I have to also add negative 6 on the other side because we need to keep the equation balanced. We can't just add something on one side. That changes the equation. So I'm going to put negative 6 on this side and keep things balanced. So there's my negative 6 on this side. Okay, that's good. Let's get rid of all the zero pairs. So here we had zero pair, zero pair, zero pair, zero pair, and zero pair, they're all gone, which is exactly what we wanted to have happen. We want that x all by itself. That's great. On the left side, what do we have? Well, we have one zero pair there. Let's get rid of that one. Now we have this so far. So right now, we have negative, negative five equals negative x, but negative x is not x. So this is the problem. We want the x to be positive. If we want the x to be positive, what do we do? Well, I could flip it over and now it's positive. That's good, but we're dealing with an equation and an equation is the same on both sides. So if I flip this one over, what do I need to do on this side? I need to also flip it over to keep things balanced. So now I've flipped all these over and here we have one x equals five. There, we got the same answer as the last question. Now, this is just by coincidence. So we had uh, one x equals five. We can write it like this because we can read equations uh, in the opposite direction. X equals five. If you don't like that, then just turn it around and do x equals five. That's the same thing. It doesn't matter. We ended up with the same answer as our last question here, but that was just by coincidence. Not They're not related to each other in any way. So here we have our final answer, and that is how you solve simple equations using algebra tiles as a visual. Thanks for watching. Mrs. A loves math.